Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing uh, averages problems. In the last session, we already discussed a few problems related to averages. Uh, now, let's see the first question in this session. See here. In section A, the average height of the students is 150 centimeters. And in section B, here this is section A. In section A, the average height is 150 centimeters. And in section B, the average height of students is 160 centimeters. Total number of students in section A, 60. And in section B, 40. Here, total strength is given in both the sections as well as average height of section A is given. Average height of section B is given. This is the given information. Now, what is the question he is asking is here, find the, find the, average height of entire class find the average height of entire class if we want to calculate the average height of entire class entire class is nothing but average of average of both the sections together that means a and b sections together average of a and b together which is equal to as we all know that average is equal to sum of observations by number of observations and uh, as we are calculating the average of both the sections together sum is nothing but sum of section a plus sum of section b sum of section b divided by total strength total strength total strength in both the sections together total strength in both the sections together that will give us the average of entire class average of entire class means section a and section b together so here if we want to calculate the sum of section a as we know that sum is nothing but average into number of observations here Average of section A is given as 150 centimeters. 150 into and the number of students in section A that is 60. Plus coming to section B. In section B the average is given as 160 and the strength is given as 40. So 160 into 40 whole divided by what is the total strength of both the sections together. Section A is 60 and section B is 40. That will give you the total strength. Now from this, uh, the average of the entire class, which is nothing but uh, A plus B together. Here, this value is, how much it is? 150 into 60. That is 9000 plus 160 into 40, 6400. Whole divided by 60 plus 40. 100 that is equal to 154 if you add these two what you will get 9000 plus 6400 which is equal to 15400 divided by 100 here two zeros two zeros gets cancelled therefore the required average of entire class which is nothing but 154 centimeters in this way we have to calculate the average of entire class here this is uh, these kind of problems are called as uh, weighted average problems uh, weighted average problems uh, let's move on to the next question see here the second question is uh, out of three numbers out of three numbers second is twice the first and is also thrice the third here according to the question there are three numbers first second and third First, second and third. Out of three numbers, second is twice the first. Second is twice the first. And is also, here, end is also in the sense, this second is also. Here, this end refers to the first person that is second number. Second is twice the first and is also, second is also thrice the third. Second is also thrice the third. Now the information is given as uh, if the average of three numbers is 44. 
average of three numbers is how much? 44. Now the question is uh, find the largest number. Find the largest number. Guys, uh, whenever the problems are related to these kind of sentences, uh, first you need to convert each and every variable in terms of single variable. As we are having a total three different numbers, uh, I will write each and every number in terms of first number. First number is F, second number. Here, second is twice the first. Therefore, second number is 2F. Coming to third number. How can we write third number in terms of first number? That is very simple. As we know that S is equal to 2F, S is equal to 3T. Now you can substitute S is equal to 2F at this point. Now you will get T is equal to 2F by 3. T is equal to what? 2F by 3. Now you got in terms of uh, F. Third number in terms of F. And one more information is given as average of these three numbers. These are the three numbers and its average is given as 44. What is meant by average? Sum of these three numbers divided by number of observations. That is equal to average. Average is equal to sum of three numbers divided by number of uh, observations. Now, you can do the cross multiplication. Here it is uh, 44 into 3, which is equal to F plus 2F, 3F plus 2F by 3. And which is equal to, here it is 3F, uh, uh, 3 is a common, 3 is a common value. And uh, here it is uh, 3 into 3, 9F, 9F plus 2F, 11F. Here you can cancel with this value 44 into 3 11 1 sir 11 4 sir from this first number is equal to here it is 12 4 3 is a 12 12 into 3 36 first number is equal to 36 we got first number is equal to 36 here the question what he is asking find the largest number if you observe carefully first number is f Second number is 2F. Third number is 2F by 3. Among these three numbers, second number is highest. Second number, which is equal to 2 into 36. That is equal to 72. 72 is the largest number. 72 is the largest number among the given numbers. 72 is the right answer for this question. Let's move on to the next question. See here, the average of 8 consecutive odd numbers is 48. If the average of 8 consecutive odd numbers is 48, uh, what is the difference between smallest and largest number? Here, as we are talking about uh, 8 consecutive odd numbers, uh, as we are talking about 8 consecutive odd numbers, uh, let us take the Consecutive odd numbers, sir. I will take like this. Sir. Here, one number is x plus 1, one number is x minus 1. I will start with uh, x plus 1, x minus 1. Why? Because uh, here, uh, if you take, if there are uh, even number of observations, you need to start with uh, x minus 1 and x plus 1. Why? Because uh, the difference between any two consecutive odd numbers is always 2. From minus 1 to plus 1, the difference is 2. And after that, take one right side uh, positive sign and uh, after that, uh, x minus 3. These are the four numbers. After that, x plus 5 and uh, x minus 5. Total six numbers, but we want eight numbers. x plus 7 and uh, x minus 7. These are the eight numbers and their average is given as 48. So, here average is nothing but sum of all the values if you add all the values if you add all the values what you will get here all these values are cancelled plus and minus values are cancelled and you will be left over with uh, only 8x divided by average means uh, 8x divided by 8 that is equal to average is given as 
48. Now from this 8x by 8 is equal to 48. Therefore x is equal to 48. x is equal to 48. We got x is equal to 48. Here the question is uh, what is the difference between smallest number and uh, largest number. Here the question is difference between smallest number. Here the smallest number is x minus 7. Largest number is uh, x plus 7. Here x minus 7. 48 minus 7. This is the smallest number that is 41. And the largest number is uh, x plus 7 which is 48 plus 7. Here this value is 55. 48 plus 7 55. Now the question is what is the difference between these two. Now you can take the difference. 55 minus 41 which is equal to 14. 14 is the difference between smallest number and the largest number. 14 is the right answer for this question. And if you want to take the difference directly without any hesitation, directly you can take a minus 7 and plus 7. What is the difference between these two? Why? Because x is a common value. So directly you can take the difference between these two. The difference between these two is 14. Directly you will get the answer without any calculation also. Okay? 14 is the right answer. Guys, I hope you understand each and every problem. We will discuss some more problems in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.